ancient Egypt, land of the pyramids. Welcome and thanks for joining us. Today, we're going to have a close-up look at the many landmarks of ancient Egypt that are dotted along the Nile River, from Lower Egypt in the north to Upper Egypt in the south. Let's start here in Giza, just outside of modern-day Cairo where these enduring structures continue to fascinate and overwhelm us even today, thousands of years after being built. These three giant pyramids are Egypt's top tourist attraction and are also thought to be one of the greatest feats of engineering the world has ever known. As if that wasn't enough, they are also some of the oldest and largest stone structures in the world. They were built as very elaborate tombs for three pharaohs, Khufu, his son Khafra, and a third pharaoh, Menkura. The sides of these pyramids are almost exactly aligned with the cardinal points of the compass, north, south, east, and west. At 455 feet high, Khufu's pyramid, known as the Great Pyramid, is one of the tallest stone buildings on Earth. It is also one of the seven ancient wonders of the world. In fact, it's the only one of the seven ancient wonders that is still around today, even though it's the oldest of them all, at more than 4,500 years old. Each side of its base is 755 feet long. To give you an idea of what that means, you can fit 10 football fields inside the perimeter of the base. The Great Pyramid is made up of more than 2.3 million limestone blocks, each weighing around 2.5 tons. Each block was cut by hand, hauled up mud and brick ramps on wooden rollers, and dragged into place by many, many workmen. At a rate of 300 blocks per day, it has been calculated that it may have taken 25,000 men a period of 20 years to build it. Inside the pyramid are a series of chambers or large rooms leading to the actual burial chamber. Along the internal hallways are hieroglyphic inscriptions of magic spells and paintings to aid the journey to the afterlife. In the burial chambers is everything the pharaoh would need in the afterlife. Food, clothing, board games, even furniture have been found buried along with the dead. In total, the ruins of more than 35 major pyramids can be found along the banks of the Nile. We are still fascinated with the shape of the pyramid and continue to use it even today. Close by the Great Pyramid is one of the most captivating symbols of ancient Egypt, the Great Sphinx. It has been sitting watching over the pyramids at Giza for 4,500 years, ever since it was built around 2500 BCE. It is around 250 feet long and stands more than six stories high. The head and face of the Sphinx are believed to be the face of one of the pharaohs buried here at Giza. It has the body of a lion, which is thought to emphasize the king's role as a son of Ra and a strong ruler. Can you believe for thousands of years it was buried up to its neck under sand? Some time after the building of the pyramids, around 1700 BCE, the capital of ancient Egypt was moved south to the city of Thebes. Once there, Thebes became an important center for religion and government and became one of the largest urban areas in all of Egypt. Here, we can find many of the most elaborate and enduring buildings 